Hi, my name is Chad Stevens, and I'm with WSHAC Consulting. Today I want to talk about can Webby or any other third party application uh, front end, can it write to or update a database? The answer to this question out of the box is no. It's something that has been asked of us many times from customer to customer. But out of the box, a reporting tool cannot write data back to the database. Your reporting tools are meant to allow users to consume data. But we have developed a solution that will allow you to do just that. So I'm going to show you an example. It's a web intelligence example, a web intelligence document that will give a user the ability to update a database table. This is just a standard web report. It's utilizing some Java servlet code to embed a push button here. So in this row of data, or any row for that matter, we have the ability to edit a specific value and write it back to the database. And one important note here is that it's real time. If you want to have the ability to do this, it needs to be done quickly. So in this example, we have values for given materials. So if I simply click on the edit button, it's going to bring up a window tell me what the current net value is. I can modify that value, hit save, and the value won't be updated until I get a response back that says it's been successful. The note was successfully saved. The report will now automatically refresh to show you the new value. So a couple things to note that are important when implementing this type of solution. A, it's not something that can work out of the box. You have to implement some report side code, in this case, a Java server. A B, you have to utilize data services to actually update the database table. So without data services, this solution wouldn't be possible. And then C, another important thing to note is you don't necessarily have to use web intelligence. Any third party uh, application or front end could accomplish the same results. Salesforce could be a, an application that I can see would be very useful in being able to update values in real time using the tool. Another note here is we're using web uh, data services, but more specifically, we're using web services component of data services, and that's where it's giving us the the real-time component to be able to update the database table. All right? If you have any further questions about this solution, please feel free to contact us at our website. Thank you.